we have our axles done. Now we're ready to draw the profile of our car, or what we would call the side view of our car. So the first step is to right click on the side and go down to New Sketch. Now you notice how we have grid lines, how you achieve those grid lines, and it's only in, in the sketching mode. You go to Tools, Application Options, in the Sketch, you click Grid Lines and uncheck the minor grid lines. Hit Apply, and then you need to also go to Document Settings, Sketch, and we need to change this to 1. This allows us a little bit finer grid lines. So in our graph paper, we had every square equals one fourth of an inch. Here, every square is going to equal one half of an inch. So we need to look at every other square, go two squares on our graph paper for every square here. If we click front, we're going to be able to see all of our car. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to this corner. Now, we need to start drawing this out. I'm looking at my graph paper and I start out roughly one and a half squares from the bottom. One and a half of these squares. Okay, and that would be three squares on my graph paper. So I will go back to my sketch tab, hit line, and I'm gonna count this up. I'm not clicking anything, I'm just counting up one and a half squares and I'm gonna put it right about in the middle of this square. I will click and drag it over to where I want to start and according to my drawing that is one line. Now my line curves around the bottom of this this um, axle hole so in order to release this I need to hit the escape button now I'm able to click my arc tool and I'm gonna arc it towards the bottom of my car. So it's going to be a three-point arc. Incidentally, if you look underneath here, you've got a couple different arcs you can, you can do. You can do a three-point arc, tangent arc, or center point arc. We, I kind of like the three-point arc when we're drawing with things. Okay. So we have one, two, is a little bit, little bit off the bottom of it, and three is going to be, I like it about right there, for my design. Now I need to put a line from here over to about here on my design. Now notice even though there's a line at the bottom here that the car had made, the edge of the car, you have to put a line over the top of it in order to get a complete profile or a complete shape. Now I'm going to click the three-point arc tool again. I'm going to go from here probably all the way to the front of my car almost. And if I look into this, it's going to be right about here, about a square away from the bottom of my car. That's where my second point is. And my third point, we can look about in the middle of my arc and I can count one, two squares. So I'm going to go two squares about in the middle of my arc. Click there. Now I'm going to hit a line from here over to where my design is, which is about right here. And then I'm going to pick up my arc tool again. I'm going to go from the bottom of this to about here, arc it a little bit. Now I'm not going to forget the little piece that I have from here and I'm going to go all the way to the top with this one. And then now I'm going to do a an arc, but this time my arc is going to start right around the uh, engine housing, which is, you can see that kind of engine housing kind of lighten up here. That's the end of our hole. I'm going to start my arc right about here. 
right about there, and I'm going to end it at the end of my line here, and then I'm going to just bring my just a slight arc up, slight arc, and then my line to continue my car out. Okay. From here to here, and then down again. So I have a complete shape for my car. When I'm done with that, I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. Now that we have a finished sketch, we can click the Extrude button. The Extrude button is found under the 3D model. You've got all of these three-dimensional features. One includes Extrude. We're going to pick our profile, and the profile, as soon as you hover over with your mouse, you'll see those profiles lighting up. Okay, And there's a couple that are actually valid. The only one that we really want is the profile of our car. So we're going to click that, and you'll notice that it looks like we're going to pull that shape out of our block. We don't want that. We want to use the intersecting faces tool, which is this one here. And we also want to make sure that we cover the entire car. We're going to overshot this by a few inches, so I'm just going to put four in. And this button right here is the symmetric around the work plane. We're going to hit that button, and you'll notice how it does blow our car totally out on both sides, which is kind of what we want. We want to make sure that we get that entire solid. We're going to click OK, and now we have an extrusion.